151 players traveled to Central New York last week for the 99th New York State Men's Amateur Championship. They converged on Onondaga Golf and Country Club for a shot at the Gans and Depew Cup. Over three days and four rounds, the winner would be decided in record-breaking fashion. In round one, Dante Grappuso fired a 67 to take a share of the lead. He would be joined by Patrick Healy at the top at four under. James Blackwell and Jack Angelucci both turned in rounds of 68 to head into the second round tied for third. Alec Bard and Tyler Jerbavsitz were tied for fifth after the opening round. Six players flirted with the course record on Wednesday and shook up the leaderboard. Nick Whitaker and Charlie Barrage were both just one stroke off the course record with matching 65s and moved into a tie for the lead. Jason Lowwater brought himself back into contention, also firing 65. He joined Blackwell and Shane Broad in a tie for third at five under through two rounds. Anthony Delasanti, Jim Gifford, and Grappuso sat at four under after Wednesday. Jamie Miller and Aiden Spampanato were two other players who flirted with the course record in round two. The field was cut down to 47 players heading in the final day of 36 holes. Round three began with a strong performance from Jirong Liu, who posted a 65. The leaders kept up their blistering pace in the morning, with Barrage pulling one stroke ahead of Whitaker, who sat tied with Lowwater at 10 under. Lowwater pulled ahead of Barrage early in round four, but was unable to maintain his lead. Barrage put together a string of birdies, with a birdie on the par 4 16th to seal the deal. His 14 under performance broke a record for the lowest score to par in the New York State men's amateur. Lowwater earned runner up honors at 11 under. Whitaker took third place at 7 under, followed by Broad at 6 under. In a tie for fifth was Matthew Ferrari and Blackwell, who finished at 4 under. Barrage's high school teammate and last year's champion, James Allen, finished tied for seventh. It felt great. I mean, I was super proud of Jay when he won last year and kind of coming here thinking, you know, it'd be, it'd be nice to, to have back-to-back -back Scarsdale High School guys win. Um, but yeah, it, it felt nice. We have a little rivalry, a little friendly rivalry, so it, uh, it felt good having him hand the trophy to me. <laughs>